All right, morning, morning, folks. The shelter is right there. You can't see it from, yep, you can, there you go. Um, and Ohio is four miles this way. So as soon as we get into Ohio, we start a road walk, which is interesting. Um, but we got about 29 miles from Lisbon. Magpie did some of the Ohio math yesterday, which didn't think she would ever hear that sentence. But um, we've got about 29 miles to the motel outside of Lisbon. We were gonna try to just Nero in tomorrow. But then I figured out that it was shorter than we thought it was. Yeah, like if it was like at 32 or 33 miles, we would have been fine doing like a 25 or 26 today. But um, as it is, we would have had to do like 22. Yeah. So 22 is a little too short of a mile a day for us. So instead, we're just going to push in um, at 29 miles and most likely zero. Um, y tomorrow was kind of the Nero day in our itinerary anyway. So that's what I was saying yesterday. I kept talking about the miles being weird, how they were linked up. So we're going to actually get into town and then like plan pretty well Ohio so we don't run into this again um, because it's nice. Like it's nice. It gives us a break. It's uh, pleasant miles, but for our pace, we kind of have to utilize our Nero's pretty wisely. And Ohio has a lot of private land where we can't camp, and so we yeah. have to figure out where we're actually going to sleep. Yeah, in Ohio, like yeah, like she said, it has a lot of land that yeah you can't camp on. So instead of getting into the section and being like, well, we're screwed. We got to do a 22 today, and then. 29 the next day we're going to try to plan out all of ohio so we'll use the zero day for good stuff it's a zero day in another week but like i said tomorrow was our proposed nero anyway so we're not really losing any time but we're also not gaining time, well, we're just gaining time to plan. yeah so we will show you the rest of pa about four miles and then to magpie's overwhelming joy we get to ohio it's nippy this morning, folks. It's cool. Like, my nipples are a little hard. My weather nipples are telling me it's about, um, yeah, 40, nah, 50 degrees, maybe. I'm happy that we're waking up to what's not crazy heat. Yeah. My weather's nipples say it's cold out. If any other people have weather nipples, please let me know, because I feel like it's a very good invention. The body invented it itself. Magpie, you have weather nipples? Yeah, mine are saying it's a perfect temperature. Okay, hers are measuring temperature wrong. Um, okay, folks, this was a long ramble this morning. June 15th. Yes. Yes. We got a little bench action for the last few miles in PA. Why is that not doing anything? It's just a white, wow. The contrast, folks. Why is it not? I'm having trouble. What is that? There we go. That was super weird. It was just getting staying uh, whited out. Great footage. You're welcome. All right, two more miles of PA. Mm. Washington, like they're all exactly the same. Last PA marker. No. Where is it? It's definitely down the road. That's it, folks. One last mile of PA. We're gonna miss you, Pennsylvania. Magpie says we're gonna miss you. PA was very nice. Um, it's actually very funny when you look at the maps, how Ohio starts. It's not like you continue on this trail. Like it's an abrupt welcome to a road, Ohio. But that's not dissonant. We're gonna give it a taste. <clears throat> we're gonna give it a shakedown. Um, we'll shake some trees. 
I do that every day anyway. But um, um, I, I shake one main tree every day at least. But I don't know how I got on that topic because I just wanted to say, PA, we love you. Ohio, we don't know about you yet. We'll see if we love you. We'll see if we, we'll see if we, uh, yeah. We'll see if we're, boom, yeah. There's a lot of things we're gonna see. But the most important thing that y'all can see right now is that PA is finishing up. And also, I got a tree to shake here shortly. Um, drain, drain the sap. That is not the me mental image I wanted to give you. I meant drain the main vein by peeing somewhere in here. So, I don't know. It's where my brain started going, then I couldn't get out of it. I do have to pee. All right, we go. We're getting down with the thickness, folks. PA, it's last mile. It's a little thick. Oh, Magpie found trail. Just thick through that meadow. State line, folks. We We're gonna go find it. Oh, look at this. We're on single track. Nice little woodsy section. I wonder where the state line is. Oh, I wonder where it is. I bet it's like in the single track because, of course, it wouldn't pop us out onto a road as soon as we got to Ohio. Oh, look at this. Welcome to O-H-I-O. That's how I used to learn prepositions, what a bunny could do to the word Ohio. If you picture Ohio as a log, uh -huh. bunny could go through the O, up the H, down the I, around Ohio. We're walking around Ohio. Yeah, so we are. So are. are we just bunnies? We are. We're just bunnies. Whoo, folks, another state. I want to take a photo. Me too. Another state bites it. Oh, there's a car coming. We here, folks. We made it. It is 8:20, June 15th. Yes, um, and we are in Ohio. Roadblock, baby. Baby, there's trail across the road. That's someone's house. Are you sure that's not the trail in Ohio? Um, the first blue blaze in Ohio, folks, is on a telephone pole. Yeah. I wonder what that means for our time in Ohio. Oh, I think I know. <laughs> you don't know. You can't possibly know. Sunglasses on. Yeah, sunglasses on. All right, folks. Oh, I'm fastening the safety belt for this journey. The safety belt of my soul. Um, we joke, folks, but we, we just like to play with Ohio. We're going to see how we've heard some good stuff. Yeah, we've heard some good stuff. We've heard some in-between stuff. We've heard some, some rougher stuff. But um, every part of the trail is beautiful in its own respect. Sometimes... Just gotta look a little deeper. But yeah, we're excited. We are Ohio bound, baby! Folks, it's our first turn in Ohio. It's so exciting. It is so exciting. It's our first, the first turn you take in Ohio is left. You take a left. The left feels good. As you can tell, always have an energy when you hit a new state. For some reason, I mean, you're still doing the same thing, but it's just cool. It's cool walking across states. So we are taking a left in Ohio. <gasps> Oh, they, they're continuing the signs. Good job, Ohio. Good job. Baby! Do you see the sign? 1.1 miles ahead. We might have to turn around back to PA. We're not going to be able to get across. <laughs> Good job, Ohio. Keeping the signage up. I love it. Okay. We go. Alright. I already got lost in Ohio, folks. Um, I walked up this dirt road. Because the way the trail button hooks, I didn't see that it popped in here. Um, so, yep, I already got lost in Ohio. <laughs> Joy. Um, stay on your R's and Q's. It's a confusing junction because the turn is actually right where that road is, but the trail is hidden um, on a quick turn and it's not signed well. So, stay on your R's and W's. Bummer. Bummer. That's really cool. Somebody put the time and effort in to make a smiley face. That's really cool. Smile, folks. It's a good day.
the first little mile or two of Ohio, um, maybe a little over two miles, is actually really pretty. Um, I know, <laughs> I shouldn't sound surprised. I mean, just because you cross the state line doesn't mean the trail completely changes. Well, it has done that before, but it's really pretty. Really pretty piece of Ohio so far. Just getting the taste. Damn. Hi folks, we're in the Beaver. We're in the Beaver town, Beaver Creek. Um, Magpie said we're gonna adopt a few beavers throughout here. Okay. But also, look at the maps for the NCT at Beaver Creek and you will find yourselves laughing a little bit. There's a loop that instead of walking a road across, you go down into a state park and do Baby. wiggles in there. Baby. Uh -huh. Wait limit. We do some wiggles in there. Can they hear me with your headphones in? I actually don't know the answer to that. Um, and uh, it adds like about 15 miles. It could be one mile, but it's actually 15 miles. It adds a lot, folks. <laughs> Look at the NCTA maps to get yourself a chuckle for the Beaver Creek area in Ohio. Uh, the other thing I want to say is that on the Ohio section here where there's no waypoints and no guidance, on our Gaia maps, I've been adding in waypoints when I see them. So, like, there is a porta potty next to the road. There is a stream. I'm putting those on our Gaia map, so there's some data available now. Okay, if you didn't hear it because I got headphones in, Magpie said she's adding info to the Gaia for this piece of Ohio because, um, yeah, there's not much. That's a beautiful ranch house, though. So. That is beautiful. Wow. All right, right after the Immaculate Ranch House. You get back on trail for a mile or two. That's about the same width, right, baby? That tree trunk? I got no response, but that was a big tree. All right, chicken. Chicken of the woods. All right, so there's good water in this little forested section. Um, right when you get into Ohio, you have about a mile, mile and some change of road walk. And then you start hopping on a two track, then a little road connector, and then you hop on single track for this next forested piece. You got water, um, better water here. So about four miles into Ohio, five maybe. That's where you can find the good, good ogs. All right, so we have a pretty good chunk of road walk coming up. Um, we're on this highway for a little bit, then it does a redonkulous loop towards Beaver Creek State Park. Um, so, got a lot of road walk, and I hopped out of the shirt for the road walk because uh -uh, I'm not putting that soggy ass nasty shirt on again, so yeah, that's what it's about. All right, so you come off 170. This is 170. You come off 170 onto Simmons Road. I think it's Clark Simmons Road. Um, don't know the exact name, but way less busy of a road. And yeah, we cruise on this for a good amount of time. Woo, 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 babe, E. Nice quiet road. Um, yeah, not too bad. Just sitting back into a pace and cruising, folks. Um, Beaver State Park is somewhere that way. Um, but we have to go this loop that way and then come around back that way. Uh, it's the trail. Trail is the trail is the trail. The trail giveth, the trail taketh away. Um, trail giveth, 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 whew, can't say the word, us more miles today. So we'll, uh, we'll take it away what we can from it. It's enjoyable walking though, so 
descending back into a pace and cruising. All right, this is the little community of Clarkson. Um, just a combination of buildings. Ooh, watch my step. Um, and the NCT brings you right through here. And then it takes you left on Highway 428 for a long time. Um, until, until you hit uh, Beaver Creek State Park. If you would go straight on this road, it would bring you into Lisbon in like six miles. Oh, gotta watch my steps. Six miles. But instead, we increase our road walk by a significant amount. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're cruising. Not having a stroke, just amusing myself on a road walk. <laughs> it's a long one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know how to deal with length though, so. Um, yeah, length in many ways. If you've been watching my videos, <laughs> you know that I'm talking about the trail amongst other things. Fun to have fun, folks. Don't like the look of that. A lot of equine centers. Um, Ohio must be a horse place. Home is where the horse is. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Um, one sec, car coming by. Home is where the horse is. But we should be about a mile from, mile and some change from cutting into the state park, um, Beaver Creek State Park. So we're gonna go see. Oh man, it's nice to hike without a shirt. I know how many times you guys wanna see my nipples, so. I don't know if the view from this can see my nipples, but I hope you guys can. I get happy about them, especially when they get some sunshine on them. So maybe you guys get happy about them too. <laughs> Hiking videos just talking about nipples. Who does that? Yeah. Oh. oh, the big old fluffers. Oh, oh. <laughs> looks sweet. Oh, you got, you chonky. So interesting. It looks like we're off the road, at least for a second. Um, there's so many trails through here, but it looks like it just hugs the side of the road through here. So we're gonna follow the blue blazes, um, see how much the GPX track actually links up. But yeah, we're just gonna follow some blue blazes. I might have to put a shirt back on now that we're about to start going through some brush. Hmm, we will see. So I thought the road walk was all the way up to Spruceville, but it looks like it's about a mile before you find the NCT markers. Well, there you go. All right, so Gaia's line is once again off. Um, we need to start cutting that way eventually, but the blue blazes are bringing us that way. So maybe they start cutting that way. I don't know, this state park has so many trails through it, so we're just gonna follow the blue blazes. Um, it's probably not gonna link up with a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's what it is. Um, kinda knew this park was gonna be this way, but it's single track, so we're cruising. All right, like I said, it's very well marked, um, but Gaia is not super accurate through here, so just follow the blue blazes. You won't get lost if you follow the blue blazes. They're very, very well marked. Um, you'll get lost if you try to follow the direct line on Gaia. So look at that, there's an NCT blue blaze in the five seconds it took for me to talk. So we're cruising. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Um, way different than what we were just on. I'm assuming this is just like the day use area, day park entrance. So that was really cool. We were just on a bunch of single track. 
across the road, put us into the day use entrance, um, and then just gonna follow the blue blazes. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. No rhyme or reason. Just following the trail. So, the single track continues probably back in there some. Don't like the look of that. Um, I checked the weather, it's not supposed to rain. Privy, nice manicured grass, park bench. Um, so yeah, we might grab some lunch here and run into that privy if it starts pouring. Dark, dark clouds. It's been feeling like it's gonna rain all day, but it doesn't say it's supposed to. Maybe I have to turn into a real weather rock to find out. You gonna tie up your horse? Yeah, gotta put him on the cooking post. There's a little bit of coffee in there still, but it was oh, dark water still. Ew. All right, even if you don't want to do any outdoor recreation in uh, Beaver Creek State Park, come and uh, give the tourism industry and the privies a little bit of business because it is immaculate. That is not something you see every day. I was not expecting that when I went to become a patron of said privy, but my butt was in a world of comfort. Um, my nostrils were in a world of comfort. My senses, it was the ambiance that like cuddles your senses. Like it was so pleasant. It felt like I was in a five-star restaurant pooping. Um, yeah, so even if you don't want to hike, come and, be a, come and be a privy pooper. It's a good spot for a privy poop. If I say poop one more time, will you know that I pooped in the privy? Here we go. This one says it's only 4,175 miles long. They really just like to come out with random numbers. That's obviously the 90s. Look at that pack on that, bro. Yeah, that is the 90s. 4,175. That loop doesn't look too bad. No. Let's see if they've increased the loop from 4,175 to throw in an extra five. Down by the creek. There's a crick behind the crick. There's a magpie crick. A lot of green trails. I think we were just on the Wonder Green and then we're on the Vonda Green. Maybe it's just a Swiss person making these names up. All right, creek's down there. We did a little climb up to a plateau and I think we just play along the plateau for a while. That wind, that lighting is really not giving me a whole bunch of faith, but again, not supposed to rain today. So we'll see. My weather nipples are telling me something differently. Giant. Whew. Bonderful. Bondergreen. Bonderful? I can't do that accent. Whew. It's pretty rough. Um, looks like we're down, back down by the creek bed or the river bed. Um, definitely drop back down into the thickness. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna see the river here, creek, pretty soon. Cool, cool. Beautiful park, beautiful trail. Jump it? I was, sorry, I did want to see the jump it, but I missed it. Mm. All right, folks, be wary on this trail. There's a couple nut busters, um, right at junk level that'll trip you up. It's like steel cables that stop the horses from getting through here. Um, without them, it would be way more chewed up. The pieces of trail that you do coincide with where horses can get to, 
I'll be hesitant doing it in the rain. You won't be slipping and sliding. Definitely chewing up some trail. Does it tell you about the old timey folks that had the beaver fever? It tells you about the old lock system. Aww. But it doesn't have any mileages. And it doesn't tell you about the beaver fever. No. That's kind of rude. Who drinks beaver water unfiltered? You do. How, why would you say I drink beaver water unfiltered? Baby's trying to make me look bad. She's trying to say that I drink beaver fever water unfiltered. I may lick a beaver. I may kiss a beaver. And I may cuddle a beaver. But I will not drink unfiltered beaver fever juice. Well, we'll find out I said a lot of beaver in that fever video. I would not drink that water unfiltered. Ew. No. No, not the lower vonda. The upper vonda. We go up, up, up vonda. Those are old ones. All right, work on, on, work on your blazing game, NCT. The trail is actually that road down there. My last clip was on a tree that was on this road. So I don't know what they're thinking or what they're doing, but this is not the trail. So it's that little dirt road down there. Come on, NCT. All right. Yeah, stay on your R's and W's through here. Um, it gets a little bonkers. The blazes, one, are very inconsistent. Um, there's blazes up on that road. And then this route, there's old worn out blazes. So makes you wonder. All right, this is the first good blaze we've seen. You walk through a little park area, benches, um, privy, all the types of stuff. Then you end up this little parking lot. This is where um, Apple Pie said the trail was closed. We're like here. D. We need to get up to C. Hmm. All right, this is what Apple Pie was talking about once it got a little wacky. So she said, do the road. Um, what we're gonna try to do is try to get to C and then go from C to B. So. I should have taken a picture of that sign. Yeah, if we're here, gotta get like here somewhere. Let's go try to find C. Okay. All right. What we're doing, we're following the blue blazes. Um, if it's blue blaze, it's NCT, so got really funky through there use your maps but also use your judgment on what to follow um like i said oh there was a couple trails that start there yeah so it's hard to tell what they meant which way to go but i we found blue blazes so we're good yeah what magpie is saying is there was a couple trail junctions there so there's the salamander something else dogwood and then also the nct so we're just following the blue blazes and that will bring us to wherever the blue blazes need to bring us to. There's also a yellow mark trail here that's not even on the map. Yeah, there's a lot of banana laffy type, taffy type of living through here. But we seem to be going the right direction. Yes. So what's really strange is a lot of the blazes are faded, but then some of them are recently blazed. Y'all, 
NCT makes you wonder sometimes what world and what reality we are truly living in. I think it's banana Laffy Taffy flavored. That's at least my theory. Might be strawberry Laffy Taffy flavored, but I like to think it's banana because I have fondness for bananas. I think Magpie does too. Magpie, you have fondness for bananas? They're okay. Oh, they're not great. I'll, I'll eat them. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're an okay fruit. Do they give you a lot of potassium? They do. Oh, okay. All right. We found C. Y'all think we would, it's not the maps that are hard to read. It's just the blazes sometimes. But we're cruising. Somehow, this is the trail. Don't know what it is. Don't know why it's here. It's like a stream bed, but a very bad one. It's like it's uh, one of these home building sites where they just take apart all the land. I don't get it, folks. I don't understand this. There's a trailhead, I think. Huh. Alright guys. Big props on the nice wood. The nice construction. But y'all forgot something. If anybody knows what they forgot, leave a comment below. For the life of me, I can't tell what's missing here. Huh. It looks right, but I think there's one thing missing. So we walked this for a second and we got about a mile more trail. That's nuts. I don't know what that is. That's a legit, legit NCT route, but... That's Blue Blaze. Yeah, that's, that's questionable. The Blue Blaze right there. I continue to question my life choices. This is very weird. This is a All right. Um, Y'all maybe take a harder look at some map systems through there because we're back on... I mean, we've been on the trail, but that campground up there, Beaver State Campground, it's closed. Um, but this is where our maps are taking us, so something hasn't been updated. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. I don't know. We got here. It's fine. Yep. So we got about a mile to, uh, to, uh, da, 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 just looked at it, Route, route 7, the highway. Then highway walking the rest of the day. Look at all these, these blazes. It blows my mind. These ones are brand spanking new. Somebody just came here and did these ones. I think that is beyond fair. Hi folks, I think we got our first uh, rattler. I don't know where its head is. Um, it's just chilling across the trail. Go on. It's not moving at all. It doesn't care that we're here. It might be dead. I don't want to chance it. No, its head's just tucked up in there. It might just be a king snake, but it looks like it's an eastern diamondback. Y'all, what are the gray stripes on eastern snakes? I think... Oh, there it goes. It's a king snake. There's no rattle on the tail. There's no rattle on the tail, but it has the markings. Oh, Magpie, I wanted to say hi to you. Oh, fuck, it's coming this way. Snake time. Okay. All right, we're right before the road, um, but I wanted to point this out for eastbounders. Um, there is water as soon as you get off the road walk, pretty much. You could just carry from Lisbon, which would be eh, six, seven, eight miles, 
But in case you start running out and it's a hot road walk, huh? Yeah, this would be the better water source we've passed today, pretty much, um, since PA. I would say that's one of the yeah one of the best. So fill her up. Um, all right, we'll go get to that road. All right, we are right near Route Seven, and we are going townbound. Um, we go touch the road. And we go to town. You ready for town? You ready for town? Oh, yeah. All right, so thankfully it doesn't make you walk Route 7 for a while. Busy road. Um, instead, it cuts you up Highway 419, which we're about to hit here in a second. Ooh, that wind through here is pretty pretty heavy today. Um, yeah, so we hop on 419. We don't take any turns off of it, but it'll turn into 154 eventually. And that'll bring us right into town. Oh, it's called the Middle Beaver Road. I like it. All right, it's about four o'clock and we are about five miles from the Days Inn, which is a little hody moty two miles about outside of Lisbon. So, We'll get in there around 5.30ish. It's all road the rest of the way, folks. Let's get it. Beaver Creek doesn't want to let us go. It's trying to draw us back in. Pretty beautiful fields. We're about three miles away, 437. So we're cruising pretty good. Oh, you guys ready for a feet shot? You guys ready for that foot shot? So tacky. <laughs> Got that foot shot, folks. That good, good foot shot. It's all about the feet. So this is Elkton Community Park. Um, about two or three miles, maybe a little more from Lisbon. So it's about four miles into the road walk. So if your feet are feeling fresh or beat down, good spot to sit. No water, but um, nice little shade, nice little gazebo, nice benches. So you can see they're doing some work here. Pretty cool. But we got town on our mind, about two miles, three miles, whatever it may be. We're, gr we're going. Let's, let's get it. All right. Right before town, there is the world's shortest, wait, not world's, nation's shortest. I gotta walk through it. I have to walk through it. It's off trail, but I got to. <laughs> uh -oh. All right, let's count the steps. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten steps through. World's shortest bridge. World's? No. The shortest covered bridge in the United States. Yes. Hi right, folks, we made it. Um, there's really not a spot to stay in downtown Lisbon. So if you're hiking westbound, um, it's before Lisbon. If you're hiking eastbound, 
walk through the town proper first and get to the spot to stay. So, we made it. We made it. Birthplace of 